and start now. Hello everyone, we're group one and we're excited to share our in-depth exploration of the optimizing ambulance dispatch this system for emergency response project. In our quest for efficiency, we will shine a spotlight on the dynamic interplay between two vital sorting algorithms, insertion sort and quick sort. As we navigate through the intricacies of these algorithms, our aim is not only to elucidate their technical uh, nuances, but also to unveil the real world impact on emergency response system. Get ready for a journey into the heart of algorithmic optimization, uh, where every millisecond counts uh, in the race uh, to save lives. Welcome to a project that not only uh, scrutinized code, but also strives to make a meaningful uh, differences in the criti critical situation. And yeah, Chata, you can. So the first step that I'm going to talk about the background is the background problem. Uh, first of all, hi everyone. Before we move on to the topic, I would like to introduce myself. I am Jada Zahra Ulaya, and on this occasion, I will explain about the background problem, why we choose optimizing ambulance dispatch system for emergency response case study. So National Health Service, NHS, policy recognizes the importance of providing appropriate care at the right time and in the right place to people who seek emergency medical aid. The healthcare system expects the implementation of efficient sorting algorithms to significantly improve the response times for ambulance dispatch, ensuring that the closest available ambulance is, this, is assigned uh, to each emergency. The case study aims to find the fastest sorting algorithms between insertion and quick sorts in optimizing emergency response systems in urban environment. So basically, we want to find the fastest algorithm for the ambulance dispatch system in order to uh, improve the response time of the ambulances that need to go to the patient's location. And for the reasons why we choose those two algorithms, uh, insertion sort and quick sort, they will be explained by my colleague. To about okay. Uh, why these algorithms? Think of uh, sorting algorithms like insertion sort and quick sort as two handy tools, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. Insertion sort works by slotting each item uh, in its final place one by one, uh, but it slows down with big batches of data. On the flip side, quick sort divi divides uh, and concurs. Uh, continuously splitting the list of organizing elements around the central points called above it. Quick sort is faster, especially with more extensive sets of data. What's cool is that both insertion sort and quick sort are in the top five most used algorithms. People love using them because they work well in lots of situations. We pick these algorithms because they're proven, proven and trusted, make them great choices for sorting tasks in all sorts of situations. And Chacha will explain about insertion short, uh, sort. Okay. We're going to talk about the insertion sort. And here's the code that we use for insertion sort by using Python language. So def insertion sort of array for i in range uh, from one to length of the array, key is equal to array of i, j is equal to i minus one, while j is uh, bigger or equal than zero, and key is less than array of j, array of j plus one is array of j, and j is uh, minus one. And then the array of j plus one is the key. So the first loop here is gonna represent the uh, unsorted array, and the second one is gonna represent uh, the sorted array. And we'll find a right place for the value in the sorted array, and we'll put the value uh, there. And then so uh, in this interesting short algorithms, the input size is the length of the array list, denoted as n. And for this time, uh, complexity calculation, this one. And the length of the array here is represent the number of ambulances that the system have. And the basic operation of this insertion sort is the comparison here. And the best case is when the input only has one element, which is uh, the system only have one ambulance uh, to operate. So the length of the array is only one. And uh, yeah, the 
The array itself is filled with the ambulance information, such as the ambulance ID or name, and then the ambulance uh, distance from the patient's location, which can be calculated using another function. But in this case, let's just assume that the distance already there, so it's a random number. So we're going to uh, sort uh, based on the ambulance distance from the patient's location. And then I'm going to talk about the best case first. So best case is when the array is in sorted ascending order. So when the uh, ambulance info already in ascending order, then we can have uh, the sum of i is equal to 1 until n minus 1 uh, of 1. And it is equal to n minus 1, which is uh, the element of pico n. And then for the worst case here, uh, is when the reverse order elements in the array. So all of the elements in the array are reversed. And we can uh, calculate it, the time capacity with the summation of i is equal to 1 until n minus 1 of i, which is 1 plus 2 plus 3 until n minus 1. And from the formula, we can know that it is equal to n minus 1 times n divided by 2, which is equal to big O uh, n squared. So how to find the big O here, we just need to uh, find the higher, the highest degree, which is n squared here, because n minus 1 times n is n squared minus n, so it is uh, in big O uh, n squared. And then for the average case is when the each element is about halfway in order. So uh, yeah, basically just divide the worst case into two, and we have n minus 1 times n over 4. Uh, like we did before, we just ignore the 4 here and we just uh, focus on the highest degree, which is n square. So it is pico n square. And also we run a code to find out the uh, running time for each input sizes. Here we have 10, 20, 100, 1000 until uh, 10,000. And we have the running time of uh, 0, 0.0 seconds for the input size 10 until 100. And then for the input size 1000, we have the running time of integer short with 0 0.011115 uh, and so on. And then for the input size 10,000, the running time is 1.277584 and so on. So apparently that's all that uh, what we found on insertion time complexity and the running time. And as of quick sort, it will be explained by Rabok here. So time is yours. Uh, thank you, Tatia. And now let's talk about QuickSort. Uh, QuickSort is a powerful sorting algorithm renowned for its efficiency in handling large data uh, sets. Its approach uh, revolves around a clever divide and conquer strategy. It begins by selecting above it elements from the array, using it as a reference point to uh, partition the array into two subarrays, one with the elements mo uh, smaller than the buffet and another with elements greater than the buffet. Uh, this process is applied uh, recursively to each subarray until until they are of size zero or one, ensuring uh, they are uh, inherently sorted. Inherently sorted. Quick sorts uh, speeds its uh, attribute uh, to its ability to swiftly organize. Uh, and combine these smaller subarrays. Key considerations include the careful choice of the buffet elements, which can be the first, last, or randomly selected elements. This combination of divide and concur and recursive techniques makes QuickSort uh, a top choice for sorting tasks in various applications. Uh, and this is the code. Uh, this is uh, the quick uh, this is the quick uh, sort implemented in Python language. Uh, in, the quick, in the quick sort algorithm, uh, the input size refers to the length of the input list donated as ARR. This length determines the scale of the data. Uh, the algorithm operates uh, through its uh, recursive steps. A crucial aspect, it's, um, a crucial aspect uh, is the base, uh, the base case when the length of the input list becomes less than or equal to one. The algorithm reaches to uh, reaches a stopping point at the stage at the stage the function return the input list itself. This base case ensures that the algorithm doesn't keep 
dividing the list indigenously and serves as the uh, ensure uh, for the recursive process. Understanding the input size and the base case is essential in uh, grasping how quick sort eventually handles handling sorts sorting uh, tasks by breaking down larger data sets into a manageable and sorted subarrays. And um, uh, there's two scenario, uh, three scenarios: worst worst case, best case, and average case. Uh, where the select buffet constantly divides the arrays uh, effectively, sort case, uh, quick sort, um, shows cases remarkable efficiency. Uh, the algorithm achieves a time com uh, complexity of O n log n, demonstrating its capability to swiftly um, organize elements. Um, the worst case scenario uh, involves when the chosen preferred consistently results in uneven uh, partitions, le leading leading to a less uh, uh, favorable time complexity of O n um, O n square, maintaining a border restrictive under typical conditions with randomly chosen buffets. Quick sort uh, sustains efficiency, efficiency preference consistently with um, consistently operating in O n log n time. Um, yeah, such as master theorem, and uh, here we implemented instructions in Python code uh, to determine the runtime for various input sizes, such as uh, 10, 20, 100, and 1,000, and uh, 10,000. We're analyzing whether the code uh, execution aligned with our expectations. Uh, we obtained that uh, the code from available resources, assembling a general quick sort algorithm in Python. In our contents, the array contains uh, ambulance a IDs and their uh, distances from patient locations. The low and high variable are uh, integral to the sorting algorithm, where insertion uh, sort is iter iter iterative, while quick sort is recursive. And now the al al analysis will be explained by Chacha. Uh, before we went to the analysis, uh, we want to demonstrate the code first. So I'm going to let my colleague Nibras to share the screen. Mm -hmm. We'll go to the input time random. Sorry, sorry, the import time. Uh, so I'm gonna explain the insertion short first. Like I've said before, we have the code to find the running time for each input sizes. Here we input one, 10, 20, 100, 1,000, uh, and 10,000. So like, uh, can you please run the code to find out the result? Okay, here uh, we're just gonna compare until 10,000. Uh, so like uh, we've explained before that the input sizes from one until 100 will have the running time of 0, 0.0 seconds and the sizes, uh, input sizes of 1,000 will have 0, 0.01872 and so on. And the input sizes of 10,000 will have 1.5001 and so on. That's for the insertion short. And as of the quick search. So uh, uh, here we're just uh, uh, mm -hmm. changing the calling of the uh, function for the uh, running time calculation. So we, we call the quick sort uh, function here and with the input sizes uh, one until 10,000, like in the insertion sort, we have 
the result of can you please turn the code? Yeah, here the input sizes from one until a hundred we have zero point zero seconds and for the input size of one thousand we have zero point zero zero one five and so on. And for the input size of ten thousand we have zero point zero one two five one and so on. So yes, we can get back to the poster. Okay, so for the analysis, in the context of optimizing ambulance dispatch in a busy urban setting with many emergency requests, quick sort is a better choice than insert and sort. Quick sort is efficient with large data sets, making it suitable for handling this substantial volume of requests. Its adaptability to dynamic changes and in place sorting are advantageous. And on the other hand, insert and sort, while simple and stable, is less efficient for uh, large data sets. Its adaptability to partially sorted data is a positive, but it might struggle with the randomness of emergency requests in a dynamic environment. So because we're dealing with the uh, large data sets here, the ambulance location, the uh, uh, patient location uh, in an area. So it is a large data set which make quick sort is better in this case. And for the graphic of the running time will be explained by my colleague in press time users. Hello, my name is uh, Muhammad Libras Rashid. I'm from uh, EF46 ENT. And graphic uh, we got from uh, after 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 that graphic and this result uh, we got uh, from insertion and quick sort and next uh, conclusion for optimizing ambulance dispatch based on distance in the dy uh, dynamic urban environment <coughs> with substantial volume of uh, emergency request uh, Quick short is likely the better choice due to its superior average case time complexity and efficient and handling larger data data uh, data sets for small input data. A uh, simple algorithm like insertion sort uh, can work best. However, for larger uh, data sets, more efficient algorithm uh, like a quick short is the best is the best choice and codling uh, we have uh, this from google drive and reference we got from this and thank you of uh, sorry for your mistake assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh